Hello everybody, and today is May 12th. Welcome to Enjoy the Games, where I now put in my two cents about games. Today I'd like to talk to you guys about a couple of good old school classic arcade games. They were ported over to the Atari, and now to the Nintendo. When I say now, I mean, you know, 20 years ago. Anyway, alright, so let's get to the games. Two games that I want to talk to you about today are Galaxian and Galaga. Both of them are pretty much space shooters. You play a little ship at the bottom of the screen, you move left and right, uh, you shoot the enemies, and you try to save the universe. Or the galaxy, or you know, whatever large space thing there is to save. Now, uh, both of these games are actually made by Namco and uh, Midway in the United States were pretty much originally arcade cabinets, so, you know, you might have seen these machines out at old retro gaming places or, you know, bigger arcades where they can afford to have some of the older machines. When you play them on the Nintendo, uh, most of the control scheme is pretty much the same. Most of the old arcade cabinets had a joystick uh, that just moved you left and right. Nintendo just uses left and right on the D-pad. On the original cabinets, you also had two fire buttons. There was one on the right side and one on the left side. Which, you know, I thought was pretty convenient, because then, you know, people who are left and right-handed could play and use whichever configuration that they wanted, and it'd still be good. Um, on the Nintendo, when you press A or B, they both fire. Uh, Galaxian, this is uh, pretty much shortly after Space Invaders. Uh, Galaxian came out in 1979, and uh, when you first start up, you see a heads-up display. You have your score, the high score the number of lives and the stage that you're on and pretty much uh, if you lose a life you lose lives if you kill things your score goes up and uh, if you pretty much clear the entire screen of enemies you will advance to the next stage and it'll pretty much just repopulate itself so uh, a couple of the things about this game when you're in your ship you can shoot one missile at a time this is kind of annoying because you want to be able to shoot more enemies but if you happen to shoot a missile up and it goes through a bunch of enemies, you can't fire another one until it's completely off screen. So that is a slightly challenging mark of this game here. Um, besides that, uh, it's a little bit of a step up from Space Invaders, which uh, if you've ever played before, it's somewhat similar to this, except the enemies don't swoop down to dive at you and they just drop uh, you know, projectiles at you and you have like four little houses at the bottom to defend with. But anyway, that's a totally different game. So we're talking about Galaxian now. Um, now, Galaxian, if you pretty much like all these retro games because you like score, there are various different colored ships. There's uh, blue, purple, red, and yellow. All four of them pretty much have different point values, but the one thing that is pretty much consistent is that they are all worth more when they are attacking you. So if you can shoot them while they're in light towards you while they're shooting stuff at you, you get more points. Um, there's a few more details with some of the formations that come down in, you know, multiple groups of, of enemies, but uh, if you really want to get that detailed, you should probably go find some reference website. Uh, I did find one really good one. It's uh, arcadehistory.com. Arcade-history.com. So you might want to check that one out. you might actually expect uh, the projectiles to just come straight down. But, um, this is slightly realistic. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying slightly realis realistic for an 8-bit video game, but um, s the projectiles will actually move slightly to the left or to the right, depending on which way the enemy swoops down at you. So, that's pretty interesting. Keep that in mind. Um, pretty much as the stages advance, uh, everything gets harder because um, the enemies move faster, and there can be more attacking you at one time. You know, don't get yourself stuck into a corner. Um, let's see. If your ship happens to collide with another enemy, you get to destroy that enemy, you get the points for it, but you lose your ship. And I think we'll all agree that if <laughs> you can keep your life and still kill the ship, it's way better. So, that's pretty much that. Uh, a little bit of trivia for you. Um, why is it called Galaxian? Well, some people would guess that, oh hey, maybe that's the name of your ship. Um, I did a little research and it turns out that your ship is actually known as the Gala ship. So, G-A-L-A-X-I-P. I don't know how you pronounce it, but that's how I assume you pronounce it. Uh, the two yellow ones at the top are called the flagships. Pretty much all the blue, purple, and red enemies are called Galaxians. 
it's a very simple game. Kill all the enemies. Uh, not too much depth to it overall, but uh, I enjoy it. Alright, the next game I'd like to talk about is Galaga. Now, a lot of people actually find this is actually a big step up from Galaxian. I know that Galaxian has a little bit of a challenging factor there, but as far as like user friendliness or addictiveness or getting more people to play, uh, I think a lot of people will agree that Galaga is actually much more fun. There's a little bit more diversity in game mechanics and things like that. Now, Galaga, um, the one staggering difference that you'll notice immediately upon starting the stage is that there is no heads-up display. It's actually on the right side of the screen. You'll get to see, you know, high score, your score, number of lives you have, and the stage that you're on, and that's all lined up on the right side of the screen. Alright, so let's get into the um, nitty-gritty things. Uh, this game gets harder as you advance through the stages. Um, with speed, the enemies fly more. There's more dive bombers, so there's more enemies that fly at you trying to kill things. And there are more projectiles as you go on, so uh, there's definitely that. Uh, also another big difference uh, starting off is the screen isn't populated with all the enemies. It just starts out blank, and at the beginning of the stage, they all fly in. However, uh, there's a big benefit to this where you can actually shoot them as they're flying in. So that's really nice. There are various colored enemies. Uh, at first you'll notice that there's red and blue enemies. Uh, later they end up changing to be white and yellow. And uh, Galaga, which I think either starts off as like green or gray and then changes to like a dark blue when you shoot it. And then you can kill it with two shots. But um... So these enemies, pretty much, the red and blue ones are pretty much uh, pretty consistent. Uh, the red ones will just kind of move left to right on, on their attack pattern down, maybe throw like a little projectile here or there. Blue ones will circle around at the bottom. Um, sometimes you'll have blue enemies that spawn into three things and then start swooping down at you. And then the Galaga, which is that ship, uh, it takes two shots to kill and it has the ability to capture your fighter with a tractor beam. But like the other one, if the enemy is in flight, you will get more points for killing it while it's flying. Uh, also, there's a little uh, stage in between a few stages called the challenging stage, just to spice up the game a little bit. During the challenging stage, nothing will try to kill you. It's pretty much just purely a bonus stage where pretty much all the aliens are pacifists. So that's very nice, but I don't know if you want to be killing them anyway. But you get stuff for it, so why not, right? Um, and during each challenging stage, there are precisely 40 enemies. So, um, but they always fly in, like, similar patterns. So if you can find, like, the optimal point to just sit your fighter and to shoot at everything, um, you know, it's easier to get almost all of them, uh, if not all of them, if you're really good at, you know, tapping the button. Now, about this game, when you're shooting stuff, you can only have, uh, two shots on the screen at a time, um, with your fighter. Uh, in this game, your ships are actually called fighters. So, with each fighter, you can have two shots associated with on the screen at a time. Earlier, I mentioned that a Galaga, one of those ships that takes two hits, with a tractor beam that can capture you, uh, can capture you, but um, it definitely stays on the screen carrying your, you know, fallen ship behind. What you can do is actually, you can save it. If you shoot the enemy, and you don't shoot your ship, or there just happens to be no other enemies on the screen, then your ship joins up with you, and now you have two ships that move together, so you can move them left and right, and pretty much they'll each have two shots able to be associated with each other. So that's a total of four shots that you can have. Also, with two ships, you can uh, make challenging stages much easier, so you can take out you know, pretty much way more enemies with a lot less effort. So you don't have to be as precise because, you know, four bullets on the screen at a time. Unfortunately, the drawback to this is that you now take up twice as much width. So it's a lot harder to defend, especially on the later stages where there are more enemies, more projectiles, and everything's moving fast. So also, if you happen to save your captured fighter and you happen to shoot it, uh, and there's other enemies on the screen, so you happen to shoot it, It'll disappear. You basically destroyed your own ship. And that would suck, because you, that was like a life that you just lost. Um, also, if you happen to get captured and you have no more ships, so you were foolish enough to 
get captured, and you had no lives left, the game is over. It's pretty much just as good as being, you know, crapped upon with all these projectiles. All in all, uh, thoroughly enjoyable. I like them both. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. All right.